Hey, what's going on, beautiful Lily? It's Tracy, and today I want to do a video talking about the quality of magic cards. And this has been a video that someone had actually requested me to do a while back. Sometimes I get like the occasional comment that's like, hey, what are your thoughts on this? Or can you do a video on this? And I thought this was a really good topic, and um, I had it on my list for a while. I have like on my little notebook, which this is my magic notebook, which it's actually almost done. I'm on like one of the last pages, so I have like another notebook that I'm gonna like transfer all the ideas out here, but I only have like one page or something left in this notebook and then I'm done because I rip these out when I finish with them when I'm finished with them but anyways um so I had this kind of like on my list for um for a bit now and I was like oh I definitely want to film a video on like the quality and stuff of magic cards and um just I never really got around to it it never really was something that came up and then I was on Twitter actually um a couple of days ago and I saw like a bunch of tweets about someone made like a reddit post like complaining about the quality of magic cards and I was like I want to do a video on that. I was like, now, like, this is really coming into full swing, and I, I really want to do a video on it, especially with, I want to say it's M25 that's coming out, like, Magic 25, I think it is, which is, like, the upcoming, one of the um, upcoming sets that I feel like is coming out in March, so I feel like it's coming out soon, which I definitely want to get around to doing a set overview on that, but set overviews take an extraordinarily long time to edit, and I said I was going to do one for Rivals over Ixalan. I literally just didn't have time. Like, it just didn't, in my production schedule it just didn't we didn't get there so um but no I want to kind of do a video on the quality of magic cards because there's been a lot of things that have come up and kind of what I mean really by the quality of cards is that and I'm sorry I don't have any magic cards like an example all my cards are packed I'm moving to Austin Texas and I have literally like nothing in my room right now basically and I have no magic cards on me but um, basically you have like your magic card say for example that you buy in a pack or you buy individually from a set and I'm just I'm talking like brand new I'm talking like brand new out of the box and something is wrong with the quality of the cards like the foiling is off in on um, the the card maybe like curled slightly um I know with modern masters two I think it is and maybe the third one there were so many issues with those modern masters cards and the way that they were packaged because the booster packs were different they were like recyclable cardboard instead of like the usual like pla not plastic but like whatever the material was of them and they were like warping the cards and there was a lot of like anger like magic cards magic players were super angry about the quality of their cards because I look at it to be like you know if I'm purchasing a product any it really it could be honestly any product I expect that product to be pretty damn nice because okay for example so Paul and I bought a mattress $1,400 later yeah I don't want to talk about it um we bought a mattress very expensive and so I'm like all right listen we invested a lot of money into this one item and if this item is you know for that price is not going to be you know, it's not going to be good. It's it's gonna, in three years, it's gonna cause us issues. Like we have to, you know, get an exchange or whatever. I'm, moral of the story is I'm gonna be super annoyed because like I paid so much for this freaking mattress. It better work, right? It better be nice quality and it better, you know, like do its job for that money. And it's the same with these, um, with these modern, with these modern masters and, um, like Leg legacy masters or whatever was the one that came out, um, this past year in, in 2017 how especially because people are paying more money for those sets because the whole like msrp like those packs started out as like 10 15 10 10 bucks something like that if i'm paying more money for a set those cards better be good quality like they better be like literally the same quality that i've expected because i'm paying more for that but the thing is is even if i'm not even if i'm paying if i'm regular price like four dollars for a booster pack I don't want any of my cards to be warped before I've even opened the cards. I don't want any of my foils to be like damaged or anything like that because it's just like, that's ridiculous. Like I'm putting money into this set and it's like I'm buying basically like a damaged product. So like think about this with another type of item. You go on Amazon and you buy something and it says new and they're sending you a damaged product. What are you going to do with that damaged product? You're probably going to like return that damaged product because you paid X amount for it. Then it says new on there, but it's not new. And this is like incredibly frustrating. And I remember too with the, um, from the vault set, I remember there was a cardboard crack. Do you guys remember this? Um, of the, from the vault set. And it was like this guy and he was like holding this card and the card was like 
bent basically because of the foiling and the way that they did it. They use like a different type of foiling for the From the Vault Angels. Maybe they do it all for From the Vaults, but I specifically remember the Angels one. And the, the guys holding the card in, it's all like warped and stuff and it's all like bent. And so like the opponent's like, oh yeah, they have an angel in their hand. And it's like, how do you know? And it's like, because the card is like shaped like that. Like I can totally tell. So moral of the story is this is super unacceptable. And also too, because it's not like when I'm, when I'm buying like um, a foil card versus a non-foil card or whatever, you know, like it doesn't mean that from, okay, so say I'm buying like a set, a card that's like 30 cents, but then say there's another card that's like $300. Moral of the story is it doesn't matter to Wizards of the Coast because like those cards that are being printed is it doesn't cost them an additional to make the $30 card versus the $300 card. You know what I mean? It costs me if I'm going to buy those cards individually, but it doesn't cost them money. So moral of the story is when I buy packs or when I buy singles or whatever, and that, that thing comes out of the pack and it's fresh and it's brand new, it better be new. I better not be receiving damaged cards because I'm going to be really upset. Another thing too that I remember that was a huge issue with the uh, Modern Masters that came out is the shading in a lot of those cards was super dark. Like a lot of the borders that was around it and I think even the font, there were issues with the font and it's kind of like, it's like a quality control aspect. You know what I mean? Like when they're printing these cards, I assume they have someone, you know, and with any product really, like this pen. Like before I buy this pen, if I buy a pen and it doesn't work, I'm going to be annoyed because this is a Pilot G2 and these pens are kind of expensive and I expect that this pen's going to work. I expect that their quality control has tested this ink and it's assured that this ink is going to work before it reaches my hands and if it doesn't, I'm going to be annoyed and I'm going to like not demand a refund, but I'm going to be like, hey, like this pen doesn't work. Like I need a refund because this is seemingly like unacceptable like behavior. So why is it that with other types of products, you know, people are rightful to get a refund or whatever or get an exchange, but like with magic cards, that's like not the case because the qual there's some issue with the quality control of foils of the the masters series especially seems to have so many issues and from the vault there's been a lot of issues with those specialty types of sets and like what's going on like something's something's going on something's not being checked and that behavior is just really unacceptable and something has to get done about this so um i really like to know what you guys have to say about this and if you've had bad experiences with opening cards that were like already damaged previously like and i'm not talking like you bought a pack and you bent the card yourself i'm not talking about that. i'm talking about like before you even open it like you didn't even do anything to it and something happened before something did not get checked in the quality control aspect in that area and it's very very frustrating you're paying money you're paying good money for your stuff and you deserve to get good quality products basically especially too with magic cards you know the market prices are fluctuating and you know if you are buying these cards and you want to you know go in and sell them like later on or whatever, you know, or trade them later on. You want that value to stay, especially too, because if you're somebody like keeps good, you know, um, you, you take good care of your cards and you sleeve them up and all that sort of stuff, it's nothing to do with you. And then it's like, you have, you know, already before you even touch the cards, they're already damaged. It's just totally not okay. And very frustrating. So yeah, we'd really like to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys have had any experiences with opening up packs that or singles or whatever that were just cards that were just completely damaged or anything like that I really hear like to hear what you guys have to say about that and um yeah that's about it for this video I will see you guys later